Welcome to Ocean City, Maryland, located on Maryland's coast, Worcester County. We are excited to have you on board to serve our 8 million guests who choose to vacation in our region. You play a very important role in ensuring our guests have an enjoyable and memorable vacation. No matter what you've been hired to do, whether it be working the front desk, cleaning rooms, serving drinks, taking orders, or even being a lifeguard, every person matters. It is the interaction with the staff that helps shape the overall vacation experience. One of the best things you can do is smile. Another important thing is to maintain eye contact. A friendly and welcoming attitude sets the tone for a great vacation, especially with so many new travel expectations and safety precautions still in place, making the guest feel safe, comfortable, and happy has never been more important. It is also important that you are knowledgeable about Ocean City and the surrounding region, including all the many wonderful things there are to experience. So we'd like to share a visual tour of Ocean City and Worcester County, Maryland. Let's begin at the southernmost end of Ocean City. You'll notice Barren Beach, which is Assateague Island, home of the wild ponies. This barrier island has both a state and federal park, which have an admission fee. Ocean City's beaches are free. The Ocean City Inlet is the start of the 2.7 mile boardwalk, which runs north to 27th Street. Along the boardwalk are the bike and tram lanes, as well as hotels, eateries, amusements, and shops. Many families visit the boardwalk year after year, generation after generation. With one-third of the nation's population within driving distance, there are always new visitors, so it's important to be familiar with all the city offers. The southern part of Ocean City tends to be the most populated and is also home to Sunset Park, located on the bay overlooking Assateague. This is a great spot to catch free concerts on Thursdays in the summer. On 3rd Street is the Ocean Bowl Skate Park, which is the oldest municipal skate park in the country. While there is parking downtown and at the inlet, one of the best ways to get around town is to ride the bee. The public bus can be ridden for a flat rate all day and runs every 10 minutes in season. Just over the Route 50 drawbridge, visitors can use the West Ocean City Park and Ride where parking is free and many people walk over the bridge to the boardwalk. In West Ocean City, guests will find plenty of shopping, a movie theater, and go-kart tracks. The Commercial Fishing Harbor is also located in West Ocean City and provides a unique viewpoint, loads of history and restaurants surrounding the harbor offering fresh seafood. There are amazing opportunities to get on the water too. You can always hop on a water taxi or fishing head boats and let the captains take over. Now that you are in the county, which is separated by the 50 drawbridge, there is a whole different experience. About seven miles inland, trendy, historic Berlin is known as America's coolest small town. This chic destination has 60 boutiques, specialty stores and galleries. With dozens of restaurants and pubs, including the award-winning Blacksmith, you can visit Berlin to shop, stroll, and savor the day away. Berlin is also home to the Taylor House Museum, rich with Worcester County history. Headed south on 113 from Berlin is historic Snow Hill, the heart of Maryland's coast and the hub of Worcester County government. Just 20 miles from Ocean City, this quaint town features beautiful architecture, independent shops, a popular gallery, and thriving cafe scene. The Julia A. Purnell Museum and Furnace Town Historic Site are wonderful places to see, and guests can visit the Pocomoke River Outfitters to explore the scenic river by canoe or kayak, or even hop on the new paddle wheeler. As you head further south, you will find Pocomoke City, also known as the friendliest town on Delmarva. Guests can explore the walkable riverfront parks and shops. A must-see is the Delmarva Discovery Museum's resident otters. Step back in time at the Marva Theater and enjoy waterfront dining by the Pocomoke River. Now it's time to cruise back up 113, which is actually known as the Cape to Cape Scenic Byway. Heading back into Ocean City and as you travel north along Baltimore Avenue, 
you'll notice the boardwalk ends at 27th Street, making the boardwalk almost three miles long. Just beyond the boardwalk, there's plenty of activity. From restaurants and water parks, to go-karts and mini golf, there's endless excitement. In addition to all those amenities, be sure to remember there are plenty of water activities throughout the island, both on the bay side and the ocean side. For thrill-seeking vacationers, we have parasailing and jet ski rentals, and for the eco-friendly, paddle boards and kayak rentals are available. Ocean City also has a few other hidden gems, the Life Saving Station Museum and the Art League's Center for the Arts, as well as the Performing Arts Center located within the Convention Center. Craft beer lovers can browse shorecraftbeer.com to find the local ale trails. Northside Park on 125th Street along the bay offers walking paths, playgrounds, and a fishing lagoon. Another nice place for guests to visit is just outside OC, just over the Route 90 Bridge Midtown. Ocean Pines boasts miles of waterfront and a pristine wooded environment. Guests can enjoy ample recreation, diverse dining, and many public amenities, including a yacht club, two marinas, racket sports complex, 36-hole championship golf course, and the county's only year-round farmer's market. During the summer, there are loads of free activities in Ocean City and throughout the county, such as movies on the beach, drive-in movies and concerts, family beach Olympics, dance parties on the beach, fireworks, and Sundays in the park. The best way to find all the details is to check out the weekly calendar at the front desks or on any of the tourism websites. www.visitmarylandscoast.org, ocvisitor.com, ococean.com, or oceancity.org. We hope that you have enjoyed seeing all that Ocean City and Worcester County has to offer. Now, remember to smile and make eye contact with each guest. Thank you for helping us create a culture of kindness.